Hey guys, um, I know that you're praying and I just wanted to say thank you. Um, this is both for the Noonday prayer group and then also the like the people on my prayer team specifically. Um, I so, so, so appreciate everyone who has committed to praying for our missions trip. Um, so just I'll give a quick rundown of what it is. Um, about eight years ago when the Syrian refugee crisis like was in the news and publicly and going to Europe, um, we had some friends that went to, or we kind of talked about whether we wanted to go to Europe, um, and, or if we wanted to buy a house in Tri-Cities, we bought a house. And then um, the family who is there is absolutely incredible, who did end up going um, to work with this community. And um, we took a church trip there um, with our pastor, and then another couple who's absolutely amazing, and uh, an elder from our church, and then it was me. And it was supposed to be the elder and his wife, but, um, but anyways, it, that didn't work out. It's just stuff, life. Um, but yeah, so we're going back. I am <laughs> the trip leader, but um, I think everybody in the group is uh, either at least as experienced as I am or more so um, with what we'll be doing. But we're basically what we do is we're working in Catania, Italy, which is on the island of Sicily. And we'll be going around to um, like walking in the streets, uh, finding groups of two to 15, um, mostly African men, but um, also we might work specifically with Bangladeshis. Um, since I have some Urdu experience, um, but we'll be doing, we'll find things with people, mostly men, and we will share the gospel version, a gospel, the gospel message with them. Um, one way we've done it in the past was creation to Christ. We just start with the beginning, creation, and everything else. And the one we'll be doing this time is called the three circles, specifically to Muslims. And it is, um, talk about the curse, the fall, um, why we're born into that and then um, how to reconcile ourselves with God. Um, and then for those that are like more um, interested, green lights, what we're calling them, or people of peace, we will be meeting with them the next day or later that day or later in the week and talking again about Jesus, doing an investigative Bible discussion, getting that started, talking about following Jesus, choosing to follow Isa, and, which is Jesus in Arabic, um, choosing to follow Isa, and then what it means to believe and walk with him. And then um, the group that lives there long term one second kiddo the group that lives there long term will be doing long term studies and like doing the baptizing and all of those things um after we leave and so it's it's a really great um setup for a short team short short term trip um because it is it's just it's just good it, um it's we're productive we're on the like we're casting the wide net and the people living there get to build and disciple build relationships and disciple luther this is his quiet yell. Um, <laughs> but, um, um, so, um, so, yeah, so anyways, we'll be um, doing stuff that people on the ground, like living there, can't do. And so short-term trips are actually really practical and really super helpful and um, just a great opportunity. And like, living where we do, um, a couple of us have significant experience working with refugees. Um, I taught English, hold on. Um, so I, I taught English for I think like seven or eight years uh, to refugees and we had a team refugee mom live with us and um, We've done a lot just working with Muslim friends and living with Muslim friends and doing life with Muslim friends um, And so it's just it's a really fun. Oh, I, I really like um, Talking to strangers and building relationships and practicing languages and um, I love conversations where like oh We don't have a mutual language. Let's figure this out anyway So I, I, I love like every element of the the part that most people are like, oh, that's the worst part of it. <laughs> so I'm super excited. But um, prayers would be specifically for spiritual warfare for our team. Um, there was a while where there's like all four of us going had kind of tough family stuff. Um, okay, so I think, yeah, so just like crazy, not crazy, but pray against spiritual warfare, but also pray for that the spirit would be moving in people because there's um, dreams and visions and there's just really cool stories where um, Muslims will have a dream, or, like not Muslims, but I mean specifically in the Islamic world, this is true right now, like someone will have a dream and then the next day, like, the dream will be like, go to this plaza and then the next day someone will like give them a Bible in their, or an Injil, which is the New Testament, the first, the Gospels, um, uh, or in, anyways, give them scripture in their native language like and they'll just like walk by and hand it to him so stuff like there's just cool stuff happening um in europe all all right now um and a lot of the groups are like we'll be working with are um unchurched and like very like um one specific country uh in the in where we live i've had one man tell me that like if his sister converted ever he'd kill her and like like in it and they this country like they say that they do not have other like everyone just is Muslim and a big part of it is because the the Muslims from that country that I know that have become Christian um like they like 
they have been physically beat and like attacked in the states and so like there's just like there's just a lot of tribal issues and so having them in a place like europe and the united states is a really great place to share because they are at least protected um more so than they would be back home um <clears throat> where the honor killings are like expected and the law of the land, if that makes sense. Um, so but we'll be working with just, um, some really tough, tough, tough stories. I have a video on YouTube that I did a few years ago. I can find it for you. Uh, if, also, if you search my name, Refugee Stories, it is the one with the art painting, um, like of a pistol in the background outside of a refugee camp. Um, anyways, that's kind of the gist of the trip. But yeah, we'll really just be... Oh, thank you. Can you put it in the sink for daddy? Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Um, so yeah, just a, it's a really cool um, trip. I'm super excited. Um, like I said, I love working with people from different countries and like practicing languages and sharing Jesus and <laughs> even like I enjoy debating um, loudly in groups of Muslims and, and other religions too. But culturally, um, Islam is one that's similar enough to Christianity to where like they respect the debates and different things. So anyways, 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 like, oh, one sec though. Um, anyways, I'm gonna go. I've been on here way too long, but um, just wanted to say thank you for the prayers and pray that you'd pray for safe travels and health for everyone and um, for my little one that he would be healthy and grandparents would come and be healthy with him and would stay healthy these next two weeks. It'll be March in March. Um, I'll text the actual dates, but um, just I, I don't know. I don't like I don't know if I'll, I even put this up on YouTube, but anyways, for just a prayer request. But anyways, thank you guys and um, I so appreciate the prayer. Love you. Goodbye.